Good morning, 8.58 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today's date, 4.20 of 2013. We are in the quarterly earnings process. We started this whole last calendar week. We have all of those updates at stockmarketfunding.com right here. If you go back and you take a look, you can go in and, and search up here on the site and you can click the trading tab and open an account tab and you're going to find out all the wonderful things that await you. You get a free trial with us. You get trading capital with us that we will provide to your trading account. There's lots of things that you can do to get back involved. If you've been burnt in the markets in the past, well, it's time for you to get going again. Our management team is here to help you. So when you're on the home page, all of these are live videos during live market hours as they are. Here's the Google trade last week. They reported earnings. They shook this thing down to $765 from $844 down to $765. And it had a big up move. We'll talk about that one. But they just did their quarterly report. So now all the news is out of the way. And we can start trading this bull again. It will have support and resistance levels but we have all the earnings that we did you're going to find them right here earnings 60 minute chart google after hours earnings first quarter earnings on google apple short we did uh, you know there's lots of things that that are here and they're in the archive and and it'd be who of you uh chipotle mexican grill they're big short sellers on it they got killed Hey, stock went up to all-time highs. Not all-time highs, but it highs within the trend channel it did. So there's some bright spots on these earnings. One of the things that we've been noticing, they've been shaking stocks down, selling them off, and then buying them up once they release the report. So they're trying to price in a lower growth environment and then turn the tape to the bull side, and that's good. Never fight a trend. Go with it. So... Let's get back to the major catalyst. On Monday, before the open, we're going to be looking at Halliburton, H-A-L. We're going to be looking at Caterpillar. That's going to set the tone for Monday, those two stocks. After the close on Monday, which is Monday, and now these earnings start Monday, April 22, and go through April 26th. So before the, uh, after the close, there's going to be a lot of stocks. And what are, what are, what's our premier stock? Netflix. Now, <clears throat> back in the time, Netflix was up at $302 at one time. It went all the way down there, right around $50 or somewhere in that neighborhood. And it's rallied all the way back. Last quarterly report was good for Netflix. I can tell you if they come in with 5 million subscribers of new growth in this particular quarter, this thing is going to go through the roof. But it would be two quarters in a row if they beat this number on Monday after the close that they were minus 0 0.8 cents. The last one, they came in at 19 cents right here. So all eyes on Netflix. As far as semiconductors go, we'll be looking and see what Texas Instrument has to say. Okay, but that's really our focus. We'll be taking a look at some of these other stocks in here that, um, you know, they don't have big price movements. Swift Transportation is going to be one where, where we'll have our eyes on because we want to see what they're doing as far as what are they, what are they doing. It's in the transports. So then we get into Tuesday before the open. And before the opening bell and pre-market, we're going to have Coach. And the retail will be all over it. Brinker, EAT, will be all, looking at all of these. AKS Steel, that's been dead forever. And we're going to see if there's any, you know, you, 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 they don't produce more steel unless you're building, okay, period. So there's lots of things that we're going to be looking in here. U.S. Airways, what do they have to say? Okay, so Radio Shack, well, what do they have to say? It's a retail stock, a retail store, but we'll be looking at some of the retails in here. Then as we move through the week, we'll start looking at Broadcom. Amgen is a big one that we like it. It's, it's really done well. So we're going to look and see what kind of dips we can buy. What I want to say, Apple, big bellwether. Hey, we got down to $385 a share. 
we're going to see if those weaker earnings are, are already priced in the name. Okay, Broadcom, Cree. These are various different stocks. Life Sciences, Life Technologies, rather. MBR Industries, OII Engineering, Panera Bread, the Bellwether, they really manage a great company. We're going to be uh, we're going to be seeing how they're doing. Um, we love love buying the dips on PNRA. Yum Brands, well, they got a lot of trouble because of the bird flu in China, and the stock has already guided down. Kentucky Fried Chicken, their sales are getting hurt over there. So we already know what they have had to say. We're going to watch how it trades and see if there's any opportunities in there. Vimware. Another software company that's done fairly decent. This, we're going to see what they have to say. Okay. Then we get in before the opening bell. And, it, and it's loaded with all of these earnings. Boyd Gaming here in Las Vegas. We'll see what they have to say. Um, as far as the casino area, we'll get clues. We got Ford Motor. What is, you know, automobile sales have been selling better than ever. That's been part of this recovery. Uh, along with the housing market. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to be looking at Novartis, NVS. Very important. Very important. Um, biotech has been on fire all year. Um, some of the other names we'll cover individually. Uh, as And what do I mean by that? As what do they have to say? How are they faring in this lower growth environment? Okay, we've done real well with the last let's say four, eight, 12 quarters, that's three years of earnings have been okay. AKAM, they had got it down and, and had a big problem. So as we go through the list, the list is long. And we're going to be looking at CLF. Again, Cheesecake Factory. Lots of these things are coming out and, and we cover them all. Intermune, this one is in the pipeline for something maybe good to happen. Uh, we just have alerts on it and we follow it for our own reasons to make a lot of money off of it when it's ready. I said when it's ready. Um, Qualcomm, everything is going to be right here. They provide chips and they provide them to Apple. What do they have to say? Qualcomm is a bellwether, so we'll see what they have to say. Um, there'll be a lot of price volatility. If you buy the dips on the good qualities, uh, MMTs, for the first time around in an earnings season. Bristol Myers, what do they have to say? Boston Scientific, has been dead forever. What do they have to say, finally? AstraZeneca, AZN. So, you know, Celgene has been on fire. CELG, right here. They're already up toward the highs. What do they have to say? They're, they're really kicking good butt. Um... Some of the other ones, Exxon Mobil, okay, uh, Jack in the Box, been on fire, or I mean not Jack in the Box, Jack Pacific. We're gonna see what they have to say. Jack in the Box is a different symbol. symbol it's J A C K. Um, let's take a look. M M T. See how long the list is. Okay. And every one of these have got, they're going to have a conference call. They're going to tell us where this economy is. Amazon, the big bellwether right here. Right here. All eyes will be on Amazon. Okay. And that's going to be Thursday after the close. Okay. So Decker, Out, Decker Outdoors, Columbia Sportswear, Coinstar, all of these stocks. What do they have to say? We'll find out. We'll get their reports, and then we'll upload the ones that are important to Las Vegas Sands. Uh, what do they have to say about Macau and the gaming area? LVS, right here in Las Vegas. So w what else do we have going on? We have lots of companies that are going to be reporting, and, and, and we're going to be taking a look at every one of them. Every one of them. On Friday... Uh, Fridays have got a lot more earnings in it before the opening bell. We never used to have this amount of equities reporting earnings on a Friday. Never happened. Now the list is long and, and you know, over time things change. We'll be looking at uh, FLIR systems. What do they have to say? So, once again, I've given an update as to what the calendar earnings are. We will be looking at why Netflix sold down and we know why. 
We know the mechanics of what they do. But all eyes are on Netflix on Monday morning. So Monday morning and Monday after the close, we have that bellwether coming out. A lot of short sellers have been on that name. They've been getting killed. And the thing about it is, another back-to-back -back quarter, this thing can get ripping and on fire. We're all over it. This is the earnings preview for the following week of April 23rd through to the 26th. 